Back in the 80s, Congolese Monsignor Emery Kabongo was working at the Vatican Secretariat of State when he got a call from John Paul II. My first memory of John Paul II was when he appointed me as his personal secretary so that I could help his first secretary, Stanislaw Givitz. I didn't write a letter or ask for an appointment. That's why I thank him for his Catholic mentality and for thinking that an African would be a good secretary. From 1982 to 1987, he traveled alongside the Pope in all his international trips. In fact, he says there's one trip in particular that he will always remember. During his trip to Colombia, I got sick and I just remember waking up in the bed that had been prepared just in case the Pope didn't feel well. So the doctors took me to that room and I asked myself, how is it that I'm here? It turns out it was John Paul II who asked them to put me in a safe place so that I could recover, and I stayed there for two days. He says that working for John Paul II was quite demanding but rewarding. The Pope, he says, would always stay close to his collaborators. He was like a father for me and for the rest of the team. He never yelled or raised his voice at us. In fact, Monsignor Cabango is one of the few people who shared their testimony in a book titled Acanto Giovanni Paolo II. It also features an interview with Benedict XVI talks about his relationship with the future saint.